Oh, hey, I know that logo. It's a pretty cool logo. Anyways. <clears throat> Normal words, but a paper guy. Hey. Welcome to Paper Mario. Now, I know what you're saying. Dude, you're a Fire Emblem channel. Yes, but this was made by Intelligent Systems. And anything made by the company? Probably Fire Emblem. I don't know. Just sounds about right. So, Paper Mario is one of those games that, like, you know, if you're online, you hear everyone saying, Oh man, I want Paper Mario to go back to the good old days. All this origami paint sticker crap. And I say, yeah, the old Paper Mario's are pretty damn good. Um, this first one, I don't even think it was called Paper Mario in Japanese. It was just, um, Mario's Story or something. But we are paper. And I love this opening bit of Mario isn't allowed to speak in these games. So, uh, Luigi has to read the letter for him. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Shout out to this letter for actually incorporating Luigi. They don't do that enough. Now, if you're asking, does the game incorporate Luigi? Well... Us Paper Mario fans are still hoping for Paper Luigi in the Waffle Kingdom. But... I'm actually really excited to play this. When I saw that it was coming to Switch Online, I just went, Ooh! An excuse to let's play it. And then when it came out the day after Project Ember and um, Tactical Edge finished, I just... It was perfect. Absolutely amazing. So here we are. We are Mario. We can jump. We can spin. Now you might be asking yourself, what does this do? It makes walking irrelevant. We'll just talk to Toads. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please visit us in the Shiver region someday. Oh, the Shiver region. Mm, penguin! Shut up, everyone. There's a talking penguin here. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? Yeah, it's... it's beautiful. It truly is. Yeah, uh, what the hell was I doing? Sorry, Penguin took all train of thought. Penguin! Penguin. I'm here on behalf of the lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know? My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frosty. Ah, uh, look at these unique toad designs. Shigeru Miyamoto is quivering in his boots. So what I was saying about the spin move here. This, what this move does is it makes it so that you don't walk places. You do this. You spin, and then to get rid of that little lag, you jump. If I'm walking in this Let's Play, I'm doing something wrong. It's all about the spin moves. Hey Toad, I'll talk to you. I've only talked to penguins, it's only fair to talk to a Toad. Yes, pleasant. This entire place is surely pleasant, with nothing about to go terribly awry. Hello there, Toad with a spear. I am concerned. What, do you think that Toad has killed a man with that spear? If you kill Toads, are you committing murder or are you farming? Questions that will never be answered. Whee! Whee! Hello there, Peach. Awfully large window you're standing in front of. How, how did you say heart with your mouth? How, how do you do that? I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. There were, many, there were multiple guests. All I saw were two penguins. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh no! Things are going awry. Also, I have to admit, how did Bowser pull this off? How did he build that under the castle and no one noticed? 
I don't think it's ever addressed. Also, shout out to one of the last time... Paper Mario is like the last time Bowser dons the clown car before passing it off to his son. Actually, is Thousand Year Door the last time Bowser used the clown car? I think it is. Now it's just Bowser Jr.'s. Look at that space back there. Beautiful, pretty space. We're playing Mario Galaxy, actually. Okay, if this were realistic, we would be getting sucked out of that into the vacuum of space. But you know what? It's fine. It was you who made the ground shake right now. What did you do? Yeah, what did you do? You built a castle under a castle. How did you... How did you do that? I'm asking too many questions. We're gonna beat the crap out of Bowser. It's Mario! What a shock. Eh, not really. I expect you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I've had my... Pro if you ask anyone about the Mario RPGs, everyone unanimously agrees Bowser is wonderful in them. He... He's just so funny and so likable. Like, this game gives you all kinds of neat partners and wacky characters to meet. And it's just Bowser's better than all of them. Consistently. Like, in Mario and Luigi, in Paper Mario, it just, Bowser's just hilarious. He's the greatest. He even got his own game. Like, I mean, sure, it's Mario and Luigi Bowser's inside story, but it's Bowser. Bowser was the best part. He always is. Uh-oh, funny star rod. Basically, what he's saying here is that this gives him Super Saiyan powers. Behold, he is now shimmering like a rainbow. Th this is the power of the gay agenda people warn you about. It increases your attack power by two. And your defense by an amount. You best take some vitamins. Who said that? Who, who says that? Ah, I love you, Bowser. Alright, end it for me. This is a forced loss battle, in case you couldn't tell. The first battle of the game, and you're designed to lose it. Alright, game over. Uh, Mario is dead. That ends the Let's Play. Thank you guys very much for watching. Well, uh, we'll see you next time, but we'll play, um... I don't know, Zelda's on this thing. I could play Ocarina of Time again. I actually beat it in, like, the week it came out. I played it again. Ocarina of Time holds up very well. Like... It was popular to hate on it, because popular thing bad, but Ocarina of Time is just as fun now as it was back then. Anyways, goodbye, Mario. What about Luigi? That's the question we're really asking here. What about Luigi? Yeah, it's like a Kingdom Hearts opening. I'm sorry, I can't see any shot of one character, like, in the middle of the screen falling without thinking of Sora diving down in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, by the way, we're playing Paper Mario. In case you, uh, didn't realize that by now. Prologue, a plea from the stars. See, it's got chapters. We're playing a Fire Emblem game. Just with Mario. Wow, sure is good that we fell in this completely wide open clearing safely. Yo, it's those stars from Mario Party 5. They're here to help us. By giving us exposition, I think? Or is that later? I don't quite remember. It'll happen eventually. Yep, he's dead. I do like whenever games um, do something neat with the text boxes. Because, like, their text boxes are all glittery. And I think that's neat. 
All is lost. Come on. What do you think I am? Someone who's bad at video games? I can save you. I can save you all. Ah, yes. The power of jumping up and down once. Mario, get up, please. Well, I'll get up if I feel like it. Oh, hello there, Goomba. Wow, a unique Goomba design. That's so cool. Who could that be? I do like this. The red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. Yeah, yeah. it's got... Who, who else looks like that? Luigi? Well, Luigi kind of does, but he's more, like, you know, taller and thinner. But, but like, I do like that Mario is a famous celebrity. It, it's just something that adds a bit of charm to it. Alright. Now we are sleeping in a bed. Without any covers on or any pillow. You would think they would treat the worldwide savior... Of, you know, the Mushroom Kingdom 27 bajillion million times. And at least give him a pillow. Like a blanket. Like, come on. Anyways, we gotta go to Shooting Star Summit. That is the first objective of the game. Seriously, it's, a, it's not even... Does that, is that even a mattress? That's just a log! Oh, hello, Toad. I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been working. Yeah, probably because you didn't give him medical attention. You just put him on a log. This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family. It's not really much of a village that's just a dude's house. But it's just someone's house. As soon as the animal coming in and out of the house, I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? No, no, no. Trust me, the star spirits are real. I didn't forget my schizophrenia medication. Alright. Right. Behold! Goomba Village. It is just a house. That is all it is. Let's shake this bush. Money! Beautiful. But, yep. Let's hit that old save block. Hit this block to save your game progress. Yes. Even though I could, like, just make a suspend point whenever the hell I wanted to, but, you know. Yo, that Goomba's got a hat! Hey, Mario. I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you. Seriously. Wow, what a charming character. We will never meet again. Hello there, girl Goomba. I could tell you're a girl because you're pink. And there's no other way to indicate that someone's a girl other than the color pink. Ever. See, look, this one's pink! Oh, land sakes, Mario. So nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried it was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Hey, yeah, you're good. Hello there, Goompa. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You want to leave right now? Ah, oh, shooting star summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before we can head out to the east. Right, the earthquake. Alright, well, we have to go talk to Goompa. Or Grandpa. That, that was... That's Gooma. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Gooma. Why do I remember that? Holy crap. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got... So what were you before you had grandchildren? Do you... Do you, like... Like, are names passed down? Are you born into this world a Goombario only to die a Goompa? Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes. Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good. I knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the ver... ver veranda... veranda? I don't know how the fuck that word's pronounced. That's just a balcony to me, like... 
I didn't know there was a special term for a balcony. Or is that not a balcony and there's some, like, actual difference I'm too stupid to understand? Woo! I can go east! Goodbye, family! Thank you for keeping me on a fucking log! Alright. Well, let's go over this gate with absolutely negative... No negative things happening. Whoa, what? Yo, it's the Lady Kamek. I forget her name. Also, she's been as dead as Toadsworth. Because they just don't use her anymore. Cammy, I think her name was. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. Yeah, I like how they know that, like, yeah, you know, Mario probably isn't dead from getting set on fire and blasted out of a window. Weird, you rude little... Hey, here it is. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Cammy Koopa. Hmph. <clears throat> I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat. But no. Mario, hear this. It's useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. Ha! As you have seen, King Bal- Yeah, I'm sure he is. Alright, just wait until I get the Ultra Hammer. And then we'll see what the fuck he does to me then, huh? Ha! Oh, fuck, a block! That's not good. It's okay, it's okay. I know how to deal with blocks. That's when you start grabbing. <laughs> what kind of laugh has Hyek in it? Um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Kami Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. What? What? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable. And now I have to go to Shooting Star Summit to help save her, right? Uh, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. I think he's using it right now to fix the veranda balcony. Alright. You, you sure we can't just... I can clearly clear this. Hello, I... Goomba? Look, I'm sorry about your gate. But, like, I, I can just jump over this. No? You win this round, Gate. Does the fact that you have eyes mean you're sentient and I'm about to commit murder? I'm uncomfortable with that, so I'm just gonna save my game and keep walking. Whee! Whee! Oh yeah, one more thing. Hey, uh, Goom Dad there, whatever your name actually is. You know, what was the name of that anime about, like, the portal to another world opening up in the middle of Japan? And they go into it, and it's a fantasy land, and the first thing they do is try to conquer it. What was the name of that anime again? Huh? What? What was it? Oh, yeah. Gate! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> we are now going to walk out and get a hammer. Which is nice, because with hammers, you can have violence. Well. I do like that scene. Paper Mario's sense of humor is, um, great. Oh, so look, Mario's acting like a piece of paper. Show that to scare modern Paper Mario fans, who really hate that Mario acts like paper for some reason. Oh, my back. Hmm? Who's that? Are you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall, too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get back home because of that block. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Oh, well, this is a problem for us. Are, are you sure? Uh, are, are you, are you, okay. You can't... Look, there's even a gap in the fence! You can just walk. Ugh. Oh, my brother is playing Pokemon Unite. Wonderful. I should get back into that game. I played it when it came out. I went, wow, this is really fun. And then I just stopped playing it. Uh, it's glorious. Uh, money! Ah, thank god this is the same thing as the Zelda universe, where money is just in the plant life. Like, fucking imagine that. If you just went into a bush and found $20 bills repeatedly, inflation would go through the roof. But, I now have a hammer. Yes! I can hammer things. And make needless hammer time jokes. 
as if MC Hammer has been relevant for the past 20 years. Alright, let's break things. Oh, and don't forget, hit trees to also find money. Uh-huh. Behold! Money! Oh. Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. To know that, be overjoyed. Yep. Oh! Money block! This is how you get a rush of serotonin. I just made, like, five dollars. Incredible. Whee! Whee! Oh, fuck this. There's no reward for breaking that block? That's bullcrap. Give me things. I want rewards for everything I do. Also, hello, Junior Troopa. Oh, wait, hang on. I, I thought he showed up immediately. There he is. Who knew that Goombas had such nice rollability? Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Yeah, this guy is mad that we, uh, that we walked into his home. That, that's it. No, you're not his home, it's playground. This rivalry. I, I'm so upset because I can't do action commands yet, and I'm trying to guard, and I can't. Because action commands, the thing that make the Mario RPGs different from, like, your Final Fantasies and Dragon Quests and all that, you don't get the ability to do them until after the prologue. For some reason. Or no, I think it's still technically during the prologue. I, I don't know what. Full power! Oh my god, he did... Two damage. That is truly a formidable opponent. And down he goes. Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star po I got experience points. That that's what star points are. So you might be thinking to yourself, so that this little kid who got angry that you stepped on his playground. I mean, I'll be back. Fun fact. For this aggression of walking into this field. He hunts you down for the rest of the game. Man has his priorities. Sweet, a mouse room. Look, Mario. We got another mouse room. Oh, well, there we go. Hey, um, separated human heart in a box. Give me the gift of life. And I also like that they're like, I like how it makes Mario shake. I like how immediately after giving you the hammer, they're like, here's a block you can't break. Because, like, it's letting you know, hey, you get better hammers. Oh, oh hey, a fire flower. It's a flower that, that's on fire. Because combat items break this game if you bother to use them. Uh, like, every boss can be broken with an item. And this Goomba is encouraging me to commit violence against his fellow Goombas. This is Goomba on Goomba violence right here. It's truly terrible. It's just heartening to see it in Goomba communities. But, I mean, they're in my way, so they have to die. See, this one's different because he's got a spike on his head. This is a spiked Goomba. See the spike on it? No, I, in fact, I didn't. Thank you for pointing that out. I would never have been able to see the spike on his head if you did not point it out to me. Anyways, he's dead. Unlike other Goombas, they are mildly threatening because they do one more point of damage. Yes, getting hit on the head with... Like, getting headbutted? That's just one damage. Getting impaled by a spike? That's only slightly more powerful. Only slightly. Why? I don't know. But yeah, until you get the ability to do action commands, you're kind of just going through slaughtering Goombas. You know, as you do. Tree! Coin. 
Thank God the trees have money. A star piece. They are used to get really cool upgrades and badges, which are upgrades if you don't know anything about Paper Mario. Um, I will not be collecting all of them, because I have never once collected all of them. And it's just a lot. You don't even need to collect every single star piece. Like, I'll be looking for them, but I don't even remember where the star pieces all are or what badges I want with them. Like, I think there's the quick change badge, which is helpful, but I don't entirely remember. Hmm. Well, regardless, I'll worry about that when I forget about it and then just never spend any star points throughout the entire Let's Play. Whee! Woo! And here we are. Back at Goomba Base. Goomba Base. That, this, is, this is just a house. Goompa, where you been? I looked outside and... Wow, you and the... Shout to Goombario for actually looking before he walked outside. He is more intelligent than Mario and Goompa. And he is safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. It's a badge, if I remember correctly? Huh? Hey, that dolly you got. That's the one Goombario lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Aw, oh, shoot, I missed the chance to be a dick and say no. I mean, I, I could've. That would just be mean. Two star pieces. Mario gets kissed a lot by women all over in these games. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by, ma by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day, so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Where? Wait, what muscles? Do, do Goombas have six packs? Imagine that, if, like, the bottom of a Goomba was just absolutely shredded. Ah. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. G give me the badge. Rapping here with Mario. What? What a punk kid. I love him. Power Jump Badge. This is called a badge. Yep, yep, uh, I, I, I'm just gonna explain this much better. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I accidentally accepted the tutorial. It's just like Kabora Kabora. You accidentally agree to do his thing trying to not do his thing. Ah, oh, God, I'm a fool. Blah, blah, blah. I'll explain it better than you ever could. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, it should serve you well. If I were a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain. Like, Princess Rescue is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. Why don't, why don't you just go with us, Goombario? You are no longer a child. Are, are you? I, I think he still is. He has the baseball cap. That's like the global image of child. I love these cute little images to show what the partner does. Gumbario's ability is he gives you hints about the area. That's like his thing. Gumbario is not required for any puzzle in the entire game. But if you have no brain, like I do be sometimes, he'll usually give you a helpful hint about the area. He's also the flavor text on Magic the Gathering cards. Like, I use his ability... This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a toad house, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get goom nuts. He has more interesting things to say about certain, um... Certain areas. But next time... We'll destroy this block. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. I'm playing Paper Mario, I'm so happy. Hey, I have a Patreon, and if you want to give me money and help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Link's in the description. I also have a Discord server, so you can be cool there too. Alright, time for the end of the episode, meme. I know that's why you're here.